What's up YouTube? It's LDS Reliance. I wanted to do another video in the Solar Basics uh, series and this time I want to talk about cables. I feel like uh, cables is probably one of the least understood and most often overlooked uh, parts of your solar panel system and it has a big impact on the performance of your system. There are many different types of wire out there to use and you're going to get a lot of different um, opinions depending on who you ask. But we'll go over some of the critical things to think about before you make your decision. The main thing to consider when you're picking your wire is we want to lower resistance. Uh, resistance is um, something that impedes the flow of the electrons through the wire and the more resistance you have the lower the voltage will be at the end of the wire. So why is that important? Well, if you have too much resistance, your voltage will drop to a point where your inverter won't be able to work anymore or your charge controller may not have enough power to charge up your batteries. So the general rule then is the bigger the cable, the less resistance, generally speaking, you're going to have. So in this picture, this is a battery cable, which is really thick but kind of inflexible and stiff. So this is great for connecting batteries together, uh, but not for wiring your panel uh, all the way to your charge controller or, or whatever like that. Um, the other thing that you can use um, to connect your batteries together is welding cable, which is <coughs> similarly thick, but it's much more um, flexible. Um, it's made of a lot more strands of copper uh, than the battery cable. Similar resistance, but uh, just a lot more flexible, I, and, and that's my personal opinion of what I like to use uh, for battery connections. For everything else, uh, I, my personal uh, favorite is THHN wire, uh, which is a designation um, used for outdoor purposes. So the jacket material is resistant against uh, UV for sunlight, and it's weather resistant. So. Um, that's what I recommend you use to connect your solar panels to your charge controller, anything that's basically going to go outside. When you're indoors, you can really use almost any kind of wire you want. Um, again, the thicker the, the better to a point, but the thicker cables are going to be more expensive because there's more copper in it. In this picture, this is speaker wire, which, which works just fine for 12-volt uh, DC purposes or, or uh, 24 volt or whatever you've got, uh, but make sure there's there's a couple different uh, distinctions um, when you're working with that kind of wire. The first one is you want to stay away from copper clad aluminum. Um, this is wire, as you can see in the picture there, where it's actually aluminum, but it's coated on the outside with copper. So aluminum is not as good a conductor, meaning it has higher resistance than copper. So stay away from CCA or copper clad aluminum wire. The other one to stay away from is solid wire. You want to always use stranded wire. Solid wire is is fine as far as resistance goes but it's harder to work with because it bends and it, and it holds that bend. It doesn't uh, it doesn't relax. So uh, stay away from this unless you really uh, want to use that for specific purpose and bend it around things and, and have it hold its shape. So you can use most any other type of cable as long as it's stranded and uh, is as big a gauge as you can afford or that will physically connect into what you're connecting to. Uh, make, you want to look for uh, oxygen-free copper. Um, stay away from the copper-clad aluminum. And other than that, uh, and, and then for easy uh, purposes of working with it, you want the r uh, red and black uh, typically so that you'll know which one's positive and which one's negative. Alright, so there you have it. Now you're an expert on cables, and if you have any other questions, anything I didn't cover, uh, as always, be sure to comment on my video or send me an email, and I'll be happy to do what I can. Thanks for watching.